What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be predicting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers record. So before I start, I'd just like to thank everybody for all the support with the views and the subs. Uh, it's been good recently. And thank you. So, just like my Saints video, if you haven't seen it, the Saints and the Buccaneers have a fairly similar schedule in the way that they play the same home and away games against the same teams and that's pretty uh, lucky because their home games are going to be against the better teams so they have a better opportunity to win so uh the tampa bay buccaneers i want to start at atlanta so this game is going to be a 10 point victory for the buccaneers i think tom Brady's buccaneers are going to be really good and the Buccaneers um, were pretty good last season, but it's just the fact that when your quarterback throws 30 interceptions, how are you supposed to win a game? Like, what? So, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were freaking, they were scoring gods last season. Like, they scored so many points. Offense was amazing. But it's just the fact that James Winston threw 30 interceptions. That's how you lose games. And unlike Tom Brady, Tom Brady throws like five to seven maybe three four or five interceptions a year which is six times better than Jameis so I do believe they'll go to Atlanta get the easy win so next they're at Carolina and Tom Brady doesn't really play good against Carolina but I do believe Tom Brady is gonna go to Carolina get that win so I don't know. This defense, their Tampa Bay defense is pretty good. Carolina's offense, they have really good talent with Christian McCaffrey, Teddy Bridgewater. But I just don't, I don't think Carolina has everything together to be good teams like Tampa Bay. So, um, I have Tampa Bay at Chicago. And this is going to be a fairly close game in my opinion. Because Chicago could be really good next season. And I'm going to hand Chicago the W. So this is going to be Tom Brady's first red loss of the season. I do say this because Chicago is a hard place to play in. And I think the Bears are going to be... I don't think they're going to be good next season. But I just think that they're going to have that one good game. And it's going to be against Tampa Bay. Um, I think the Bears could evolve into a better team later in the season. So if this game is late in the season or very, very, very early, like the first week, then I think Chicago's going to get that W. So next, Tampa Bay at Denver. And this also is going to be a very close game because Denver and New England always had that rivalry. So with T Tom Brady and Tampa Bay, this game could go either way, and I'm going to hand Tom Brady the W. So, uh, it's going to be a really close one, like I said. I think the Broncos probably should win this game. Actually, maybe not. But I, I just think Denver was under, they're underrated last season. They had a really strong finish to the season with Drew Locke. I think they have the talent to win games, but at the same time, they're Denver. So I'm going to give Tempe the W. So this is going to be another close game at Detroit. I do believe that the Lions are going to be a lot better from last season with Matt Stafford out. And I think Matt Stafford should win this game. And I'm going to give the Lions the W. So I do say this because um, I think the Lions are just ballers. Like, they got Matt Patricia former defensive coordinator for the Patriots, so he knows everything about countering Tom Brady. I think Tampa Bay should win this game, but at the same time, I, th I don't think they will, because Detroit is going to be a lot better from last season and get that easy W. Not easy, probably like a three-point win. So I predicted this. Uh, the rest of their home games are at New Orleans. I've already predicted this in my New Orleans video, that the Saints should win this game. So that is another loss for Tom Brady. 
So that's currently three and three record. Um, so I do just believe that the Saints are gonna split the series with the Buccaneers one and one, and it's gonna be a loss at New Orleans. So Tampa Bay came in third place in their division last season, which is actually pretty fortunate because they play worse teams. Um, they only play two different teams from the rest of the teams in their division. And those two teams are going to be worse than, like, the Falcons, who who play, this, uh, like, the second-place teams, and the Saints play the first-place teams. So, luckily, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers play at New York Giants. Easiest win of their lives. I give it maybe a 20-point win. Easy win. And their last road game of the season, and I think... This is going to be a good one. It's going to be Tom Brady at Las Vegas Raiders. Um, I do believe Tampa Bay is going to pull off the upset, even though I think Las Vegas is going to be really good. I think Las Vegas has the potential to get that seventh seed in the playoffs or the sixth seed. We'll see. But I, Actually, I don't think they will. But at the same time, Las Vegas will be a lot better. I do expect them to win this game, but I just don't think they will. I think Tom Brady's going to outcompete and get that W. So, currently, they have played eight games, and they've won one, two, three, four, five. So, that is a five and three road record. So, at home, I believe Tampa Bay is going to be Going to have one of the best records at home. Probably a couple, maybe one or two losses. We'll see. Ready? So their first home games against Atlanta. Easy win. I've already said this before. I don't think Atlanta's going to be good. And there's just going to be no competition there. So that is going to be their first home win. Next, they do play Carolina at home. Like I said before, easy win for the Buccaneers. Um, I just don't think Carolina has all the star power to compete against good teams like Tom Brady's Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they do play at home against the Saints. And I do believe Tom Brady's going to win this game. So I do believe this because they should, Drew Brees and Tom Brady should split the series. I look forward to watching these games. They're going to easily going to be on Sunday Night Football prime time. I look forward to seeing this. Everybody does. And I just think at home, Tom Brady's not going to lose. And that those toxic, actually, I don't think Tampa Bay's toxic, but all the Patriots fans are going to move to Tampa Bay. You already know. So next home game they have is against Green Bay. And I think Green Bay should win this game, but they're not going to. Um, later in the season... I think this game should be later in the season. I don't know. I think Green Bay is going to get the dub, the the L, I mean. And Tampa Bay is going to win this game. Um, Green Bay definitely has the talent to win it. I think they're going to get the third seed in the NFC. But I do believe they should not win this game at Tampa Bay. I think Tom Brady is just going to outcompete. And the defense is going to pull up the W. The next home game they have is against Minnesota Vikings. And if this was last season, Minnesota easily would have won this game. Uh, if they've played each other last season, then I'm sorry for lying. But Minnesota should lose at Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think Minnesota was really good last season. They had all the talent to win all those games. Just didn't because Kirk Cousins is a clown. And they got rid of Stefan Diggs. So, two big L's for Minnesota and one giant W for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, there's three more home games um, against Kansas City. And, man, oh man, we've seen this before. Pat Mahomes goes to New England against a good New England team and beats. Tom Brady. So I do believe Kansas City is going to win this game and hand t t Tampa Bay their first home loss of the season. I just don't think Kansas City is beatable this season. I think they're going to go undefeated, honestly. 
They're just too good. Um, nothing said. Nothing more to say. It's just common sense. So, their two last home games are going against both the LA teams. Lucky for them, they don't have to travel across the country. So you play the LA Chargers. LA is going to be one of the worst teams in the league. LA Chargers, of course. And they should easily get that win. No doubt about it. And their last home game of the season, I think it's going to be a really close one. But it's against the Rams, obviously. Um, I think the Rams are going to be better from last season. And I think that the Rams are going to lose this game. So I've only given Tampa Bay one home loss. And I've given them three away losses. So... That is a really good 12-4 and four record. But like I predicted in my Saints video, I think they're going to go 13-3. and three. So you can go watch that. Sorry for spoiling. But 13-3, and 12-4, that means Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to get the fifth seed. And easily, the Eagles are going to get the fourth seed. And we're going to have a Philly, Philly Super Bowl rematch wild card weekend. So... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the support. That's it. Adi, adios.